Try. Okay. Let's see how I do. <laughs> My name is Dr. Jose Flores. I am the conductor of the Corpus Christi Area Youth Orchestra. Our program is not like any school program. We don't really grade anybody. Like you're gonna get an A, you're gonna get an F. It's all honor-based. It's the ultimate citizenship. You come here for the good of the community. You come together and do your work. Attendance is on you because you are part of the group and your, your presence here is important. And they actually become very, very excited about something like this. You would not believe how excited these students get about playing a concert of whole classical music. The Corpus Christi Area Youth Orchestra is a very inclusive program. We don't think musical education is a privilege. So that's why we're here and we welcome everybody. Whenever we were in sixth grade and we were going to pick an instrument for orchestra class, the teacher brought out this instrument that I have never heard of, the viola. And I was like, wow, that's really cool. And then she went through all of the pros and cons of each instrument. Like, oh, the violin always gets melodies. The cello gets like these really rich notes. The double bass has the lowest ground floor. But the viola is just kind of like none of those qualities, but it does everything well. It doesn't lack in anything, but it's not specifically better than anyone else at anything. It's like the most humble instrument, in my opinion. And I think that is beautiful. The youth orchestra helped me find community in Corpus. Like, they made me feel more, like, more part of a group. Playing the violin makes me feel calm and, well, relaxed. I never, like, been on stage with other kids playing these instruments. I only did solo acts before. I feel, like, excited and nervous. When I play, my legs feel, like, wobbly and and feel, makes, it feels like jelly. Well, after I finish the piece, I get off stage and feel better. Playing the violin makes me feel relaxed and calm and just free. It's not an experience that you can necessarily describe that easily. I don't know if you can see me, but I am a very anxious person, like really anxious person, so violin definitely helps me calm down. We have 11 people in my grade, and that's it. And so the youth orchestra helps me meet people like outside of those 11 people. It gives me variety. It gives me motivation to keep up with violin and practice and aspire to be good. My life is totally different without it. I got involved in the youth orchestra with Dr. Melendez, one of the directors. She was my private instructor as a kid, so she really just told me, you know, come, it's gonna be super fun, and I started coming. Back then it was every Sunday, so I started coming every Sunday, and I have never not come on the Sunday now. I actually started out playing the violin and then decided that I did not like it, so I switched to playing the cello, and then at that time I was about five, and Katie got invited by Dr. Melendez to come to the orchestra, and I tagged along. What did you not like about the violin? I didn't like, and I quote, that it made my neck sweaty. That's what I didn't like, so I switched it's to cello. Not what it's like, it doesn't make your neck sweaty. She's just a salty cellist. Mm -hmm. My favorite part of youth orchestra is actually playing the piece. It's just so satisfying to play, and to hear it with all the orchestra is really a surreal experience. My older sister, Samantha, is 18, and she played the cello, and then my little sister plays the violin. This is actually the first time I have been like in the youth orchestra in the same orchestra level as my sister. The first day that we had rehearsal, she sat second chair first violin, and I sat in first chair second violin, just so I could sit next to her and we can talk. So we would like have little mini conversations, like hand gestures and stuff. I got moved. Well, we both did. <laughs> I don't like practicing with her because I feel like she criticizes me too much. 
I try to tell her like how to fix stuff and then she gets mad at me for telling her so so we don't practice together yeah my favorite thing about it is how we all work together as a team I like playing Christmas music I don't know I just it's so joyous and like I really like playing it like learning how to play with others and I got to make new friends so that was also fun you just get to meet so many new people. There's so many kids from different schools, and you just get to make like a lot of friends, and you know, you create a strong bond with the other members. You know, it's it's really a a great opportunity for for young people. So what do we do? We have a program every week. They meet with me and the other professors and and faculty once a week, and we teach them how to play the instrument, but we also teach them about the culture of classical music. This became a mission, a personal mission for me, that Corpus Christi always have a youth orchestra. The symphonic music and all that it captures is a legacy for the humanity, and we need to preserve it forever. <laughs>